What is up? I am in the 277, the new tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, which is like in the latest me meta right now, the heavy medium tank. And uh, this is it, the 277. I've had this tank for a long time now, but uh, for some reason I don't really play this. I Actually, I don't play this tank at all in randoms. Uh, but if you did, you are going to completely ruffle stomp everyone uh, on the opposite team, especially in a 3-5-7 uh, matchmaking scenario where this tank would absolutely eat everyone. There wouldn't be any reason for you not to be super unicum when you're driving this tank. But anyway, I kind of view my tier 10s like reward tanks, like I've reached some kind of level. Once I've attained the tier 10 tank, the said tier 10 tank, I don't really have any interest in playing it anymore aside from clan wars. But anyway, we are in, um, can't remember the name of this map to be honest with you, but anyway, we are in this map and uh, we are in ranked battles. This is of course the fourth season of ranked battles. This would be the second official season and the and if you include the beta seasons, this is actually the fourth season. Now I'm on the south side of the map and um, I'm studying the minimap right now as we are playing this. And I noticed this uh, E5 is balls to the wall. I mean, kudos to him for taking that position. So it looks like I'm going to try and support him if I can. I'm going to peek over to see if there's anything coming over to um, confront him. Looks like there isn't anyone. And I noticed that the IS-7 is trying to take shots at him. So what I'm going to do is go forward, elevate my left side of my tank so that I can get some, uh, a little bit more gun depression, shoot him in the back of the head. But I take a shot from a bad chat right at the back. So what I'm going to do right now is back off because I don't want to lose any HP unnecessarily from that bad chat. And uh, this 907 that has gone balls deep inside, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that. Now this E3 is doing the right thing, but uh, he didn't take... Oops, that rock there really, really pissed me off because I bumped into it as I was pulling the trigger, it made me miss my shot. I still get the kill shot on this guy, but uh, I could have possibly, uh, you know, killed him a, a bit sooner, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But it's not looking good for us because we've lost that 907 for absolutely no reason at all. And now we're probably going to lose this uh, E5. Now, of course, in the ranked battles, you are up against all tier 10 tanks. Now, if you want to prove yourself, this is where you do it. Ranked battles are all the people who want to try hard play this mode. Because you only you're only going up against tier 10 tanks. And because a lot of people are shooting gold and I'm tr I try not to because uh, I don't want to be I know it's um, what how do I say it's not really necessary to shoot premium rounds unless you are frontally against something with a lot of armor uh, the AP shells on most things are sufficient enough for you to play in uh, tier 10 uh, competitions but if you really really want to try hard and money is not an issue you know go ahead and shoot full premium rounds uh, I do have 40 million in my account but I still want to like you know give myself a little bit of a challenge and uh, see if I can shoot as little uh, heat rounds as possible I the equipment that I have on on this tank is uh, vertical stabilizers optics and uh, rammer and I do run food on this thing, which is why I spotted that um, IS-7 crossing earlier on. I do have full view range and I have the crew skills to go with it. We are already down two tanks. Now what's up with the 277 is it has 490 alpha damage, 265 penetration on the AP shells and uh, probably... Um, thousand meters per second uh, velocity which is really good for an AP uh, for AP shells now on the uh, heat shells it's 
uh, it's got 340 millimeters of uh, penetration and uh, that's really good if you need to face anything frontally we're down three tanks i'm all alone down here i was contemplating on staying here longer because i do have the grill 15 behind me protecting but i was watching the middle of the map and i noticed that they're trying to make a move over here that super cock is trying to sneak into that uh, little little uh, lane there to get to the center of the map and i thought i'd drive up and shoot him in the back and see if i can finish him off which is exactly what i'm doing right now now this tank's got a 10.32 reload second uh reload time which is really good and i think i have it down to maybe less than 10 seconds in this tank it depends on how much screw skills you have of course if you have bia and all that crap it's a lot better it's got 2.48 in time and the dispersion is 0.35 which is really good on this tank to be honest with you i wouldn't now i tried to run away there because i knew that they were going to chase me down on that thankfully i only took one shot from the is7 and again i bounced another shot from maybe the same chat i'm not too sure and cancer managed to track me there but uh thankfully i only took 77 damage on this uh this instance so uh, that's great now, as I was saying, the, the meta, the current meta in the game is are these heavy medium tanks or the medium heavy tanks. Like the 430U and the 277 is doing really well in World of Tanks right now. They're not completely overpowered, um, but uh, they are the popular tanks to go they are the go-to tanks right now the 277s the 5a's the is7 the 113 is, is you know slightly behind um i would say it is slightly lacking behind right now uh when you compare it uh, if you go toe to toe with the 277 or the 5a uh, these are going to be better tanks and of course also the 430u uh, which is awesome now this guy made a mistake here uh, he was trying to do the right thing but uh, he didn't count on me uh, uh, running away and uh, taking a hull down position and so i don't have to deal with him uh, exposing myself completely i can actually hide behind here and slowly uh, peck at him i actually know this guy he's actually a really good player and uh, we actually play on uh, competitive teams together uh, on the uh, weekly uh, you know goal tournaments casual tournaments he's a teammate of mine a really nice guy i felt kind of bad to take him out and using heat shells as well because i need to make sure that i can pen him on shots like that especially uh, when they're likely to bounce we're still two tank two tanks down but uh, he's gone and we've pulled it down to one tank uh, they have one tank advantage I can take a shot at this bad chat and I do and someone else finishes him off which is great now this is a close game and uh, time to put the big boy big boy pants and start carrying I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive up to that badger and try to deal with him uh, let's continue with uh, the um, with the stats of this tank 1030 shell velocity on the ap shells it's really good uh for ap shells uh, during the beta testing they they did do 1300 or 1400 something like that uh for the uh for the apcr shells but that was proven to be completely op i tried to damage him there but i couldn't damage him and track him at the same time but he's making a mistake here uh, he should have rushed me down there because he has the dpm to finish me off but he didn't so and i look i'm looking at him looks like he doesn't know exactly what he's doing he should have just faced me down and used his dpm to kill me but i managed to take him out anyway so as i was saying uh during the uh test during the common test servers this was the premium shells on this tank was apcr with 1300 or 1400 uh, meters per second shell velocity which means the gun shot the gun was very accurate as it is and it shot like a laser and it could go through fences it could go through obstacles which made it like 
you know on the borderline of being OP. It's a good thing they changed the ammun the premium ammunition to heat right now, and but it still has decent speed. Like one thousand thirty is still relatively good, but you can't shoot through um, fences anymore. So that makes it kind of fair if you want to shoot through fences, you need to you shoot it with uh, AP shells. And right here, I am a little bit concerned about that Super Conqueror, which is why I didn't go forward. But it looked like uh, I needed to, if I had to take a hit from that Super Conqueror, I had to take it. And it would happen right here. I didn't even bother looking at him. And he's not there. So what I'm going to do is just drive right behind that um, Type 5 and uh, shoot him at the back as I finish him. Somebody took a shot at me. It was that JPE, wasn't it? And he completely missed his shot, I suppose. And we finish him off now. Let's try to avoid this uh, Yeguru. Looks like we have this game in the bag. We are... Uh, one tank ahead now. I'm gonna see if I can. I should have poked there when he was not looking He could have killed me off there actually to be honest with you. Maybe he had some uh, reloading issues or whatever But uh, I kind of hesitated there. I should have took him out the first time around but anyway I Can go up this way, but I'm gonna try and play it safe a little bit of course, I can still take a hit. I have over 600 uh, X, uh, HP left. But uh, I'm going to try and play it safe and not take that way, just in case. Now, I'm expecting him to be on my right, which is why I am going up this way. And he's not here. So I'm expecting him to be on the next corner right here. But he is not. Oh, uh, he. That's because he's below, and he was spotted by that IS-7. And what I'm going to do is right now shoot him right from the top. I don't have enough depression. Yes, and I get him there. He's looking at me, so I got to try and see if I can avoid his elevation. Whoa! I get behind this rock, and he can't shoot me anymore. And someone else finishes him off. And uh, that's GG, end of the game. It's just a matter of cleaning up and uh, looking for the last clicker. 55 kilometers an hour forward speed and 15 kilometers reverse. 950 horsepower and 17.9 uh, uh, horsepower to ton ratio. Uh, traverse is, tank traverse is like 34 degrees per second, which is really good. And uh, the resistance as well is really good. Armor in front, 140 on the hull in the front, 112 on the side, no big deal. And any kind of good armor is coming from the uh, 290 frontal of the turret and 224 on the side. Now, of course, it has a pike nose, which means it does bounce a little bit. Let's look at the uh, results, 5,900 damage. Um, a little bit of spotting of course um, the the way XP is done in this tank you, you, you do a lot of uh, spotting and shit you get a lot for that so in this game mode you need to be up in the front doing some damage and also a bit of spotting hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope you're on your way to researching if not already enjoying this 277 object thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye.